Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this little video is going to be about fonts and characters that are inside of Corel Draw that are really, really helpful. You know, if you needed the registered trademark for somebody, you could go to um, Clip Art and find it and save it, but then it's still going to be not a vector image. It's still going to, you're still going to have to clean it up. Here's one that I've done many times. Uh, I'm actually a metal worker too, so I cut it out and add it to a, you know, a word or a company and, and it all stays together and then I can weld it to the other part and it's a good clean vector line. But if you just need it for engraving, there's all kinds of text and at signs, the half sign. There's even characters like that that you could you could produce but it's just kind of neat to play around with so all you do is go to text insert character and it's going to come up with a character docker and let's say for instance you know so it's got all these different characters you know in different fonts so go to Arial and Arial has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of characters even shapes like this, uh, foreign languages somehow, of course, you wouldn't be able to do that unless you could figure it out, but it's got hundreds and hundreds and, um, you know, some things you would need, I don't know what they're called, but you would need it in the Spanish language, uh, you know, over the top of a letter. And, uh, but what's also neat about it, if you have you know, if you have this font right here that is that is fish, the only way other to do it is just start typing out some letters and see what you get. Well, when you're when you insert this character, you can actually see what you're getting. So you just uh, click on it with your mouse, bring in your page, and for some reason it brings it in as a hairline, but that's not a problem. And you can just. Uh, do that and you've got that character. So you right click, left click, take out the outline and add the fill. And this isn't a perfect font, but it can be cleaned up very easily. And I've actually got a video on that, how to clean up this particular fish. But if you need the half sign, you know, 92 and a half of a, you know, of almost any font, it's gonna have that. So you would just go back to the character docker, pick a, uh, well, let's just pick this, you know, there's the, of course, there's the at sign, which those are normal keyboard strokes, but these aren't keyboard strokes. You know, it's got quarter and half, probably has three quarters, uh, registered trademark, and, and a bunch of different, uh, you know, like that's different than the one I've got here. So it's really neat. So go to text and insert symbol characters. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.